Welcome to the Business Report. I'm Andrew Laidley. A new cohort of agripreneurs are surfacing in Clarendon with the JWN Foundation spearheading the revolution. The core business is chicken rearing. For many residents in the Gimemebit community in Clarendon, that's not just the sound of baby chicks. It's a sound of hope, independence, and resilience, all spearheaded by the JWN Foundation. They walk away with the chickens, between 20 and 25 chickens. They get a bag of feed, they get vitamins, they get a water pan, and they get a lot of knowledge about how to raise chickens. More than 75 Jamaicans in the rural community are being given an opportunity to start a business in the best way they know how. Marsha Thompson, a single mother, shares how receiving the baby chicks and the necessary supplies transformed her life after a devastating mishap. The last time I buy a hundred chickens from the place in Maypen and mangoes go in there and eat half all hundred chicken. So I go right back to square one. But this now can be help me to build back my chicken farm. And it's not just the adults who will benefit. Carolyn Anderson, a teacher at the Gimimabit Primary and Infant School, says this initiative could also lead to more children being properly fed while at school. The schools will be able to um, get this done in their feeding programs. Because you know sometimes the ministry does not send enough. So doing this, I think JWN has done a very well in bringing this into the schools and for others in the community. Simone Booth, who's a chicken farmer of over half a decade, shared that her son was able to receive a university education because of this humble but profitable enterprise which continues to grow. The first time I started, I've gotten 25 chicken. Now I'm raising 60. So I've improved a little and it will get better each time. And the success stories are numerous. Some of the best stories were about people who have turned over. So we would have given them in July. And since then, they had been, every six weeks, they had managed to have another set of chickens. So they didn't stop at that 25 that we gave them. They just continued that. And sometimes people just need a start. And that's what we've done. We've given them a start. And then we're back here to kind of give a refresh. You know, some people might not have gotten where we want them to be. But there are people who have continued since last year. The collective investment was about $5 million, but the lifelong impact is arguably immeasurable. Now, Florida-based cybersecurity company Simply Secure has acquired a 49.1% stake in T-Tech Limited. Simply Secure has indicated that upon the acquisition of 50% or, or more of T-Tech shares, it will extend an offer to all remaining T-Tech shareholders to purchase their shares. This intended offer to the remaining shareholders will be contingent on the completion of additional due diligence, finalization of the terms of the offer, review by the TTEC board, and approval by the regulators. Simply Secure and TTEC have committed to adhering to the securities takeovers and mergers regulations and the JSE rules. And that's your business report. Up next is your market summary. CVM News at 7 continues with Curlin and Stephen after the break. <laughs>